Hey Flosstube, it's Julie, the Gulf Coast Stitcher, back for another shop update. I had hoped I would get this up yesterday, but it's a lot. Um, there's a lot of inventory. So that's all this video is going to be, is a quick run through of some of the new things that I have. They're already listed on the site, so feel free to check them out there. Um, grab you a piece of paper and something to write with if there's something you like. If it runs out of stock, just shoot me a message and let me know you're interested and I'll get it added to my next order. Um, first thing I want to talk about is Here Lies My Needles, Sal. Um, I went ahead and purchased a few sets. These will hold them up for you. So I'm not so sure. They look a little bit brighter here than they do in real life. But this is all 16 of the called for colors that you need for Here Lies My Needles. Um, so all 16 skeins, full new skeins, will be $38 for the set. Um, I have not very many, so if you're interested and you want those, let me know. Um, I will be posting them on the site. Um, please, I don't mind if you email me or message me if something's out of stock, but if it's in stock, I would appreciate if you would just go purchase it from the site because that makes it a little bit difficult for me to keep up with inventory. Um, I've had some people message me and say, you know, me please, I want this. And I know that some sites work on the me please present uh, precedent where you just say me please in the comments and then the shop owner pulls that for you, but I have a very... Um, accurate inventory system because I want to make sure that when you want something that if the shop says it's in stock that it actually is and that would not be accurate if I kept pulling every time someone says me please um, and then have to go decrement the inventory and all that so if you want it go to the site first if it's available there purchase it if not if it's not there then message me and I will put you on the list for when it comes in again I do notify people via email off of the list before I relist onto the website. That way, you know, you, you wanted it, it was out, and then you let me know. I give you kind of first dibs, in other words, because you were interested in something that was out of stock. So anyway, enough about that. These will be listed on the site. I don't have many, but it's Week Style Works and General Arts. Um, it's all the called for colors. I wanted to do it in the called for colors. I thought maybe someone else may want to. Some purists out there. You don't have to. No rules. You can do whatever you want. Also have a few cuts of 32 count Weeks Dye Works linen in the color cocoa. I could not find the 18th century brown that it is, uh, the model is stitched on in anything higher than a 28 count. And I know a lot of us you know, don't do 28 that often. So that's what I ordered as an alternative. I do have a few cuts of that available, so I will also list those on the site. If you are interested in the fabric, just know that I don't have a serger. You know, I will measure it out and you'll have a good accurate 13 by 17, which will give you enough to stitch, plus about two and three quarters inch on all sides for, um, framing, which if you watched uh, Teresa, the designer's um, tutorial, she says you really don't need three inches um, the way that she shows how to frame. So check that out if you if you are interested in doing it yourself. But I think, you know, I that's the easiest way, two and, about two and three quarters to give you that 13 by 17 inch cut. I'll have a few of those. Those will be $12. So $38 for all the floss. $12 for the fabric and I have just a few but I'll list them so that's it for that that's all the business we have there y'all I have a huge stack of charts to go through I'm gonna rip through these pretty quick if I feel like you guys are probably bored with it I'll do some more another day let me get them I'm gonna go through these pretty quick though because there's like I said there's a lot also Dan the man's outside welding and grinding and doing all kinds of things so if you hear those noises out there I'm sorry about that but you know he's outside in his happy place so okay I don't even know where to start I'll start I'll start in the middle just because because it's a huge stack okay y'all check this out Kathy Barrick Halloween tonight is Halloween that is so cool love it my phone is going crazy all right, so there's that. 
Sorry about that close up. I need to get myself together. This was a market release. I'm sure you guys have seen it by now. Brenda Gervais, Spring, Spring in Baltimore. Love that. I may have showed this already, also from Market, and Blossoms as the Rose. That's how pretty that is. That's Blackbird Design. Oh, Plum Street Samplers, Sophie's Sheep. Look at that, Black Sheep. Black Sheep Wool Company. I love that. I showed restraint, though, and didn't keep one for myself because the stash is too much. Everybody has seen and loves Brenda Gervais, Hen and Chicks, and Brenda Gervais, Have Ye Any Wool. Okay, the deal with these is um, I have one customer who has asked me to get her this chart with all the called for floss, which I have all of them except for Wood Rose and Otter Creek, which are two by the Gentle Arts and they're on back order. So I'm going to message her. If you're watching, I have all the other ones. I can go ahead and PayPal you and send you what you get. And then um, when they send me the other ones, I'd be happy to do that. Or I can hang on to it and you can get them all at once. Or you can pass if you don't want to wait. I understand. Um, but the cool thing about most of these charts is that you'll see that they have a lot of the same colors. So, um, you know, you can get both and not have to use all of your, get all new floss for every chart. Springtime Smalls came in. They have 10 copies of this and that's all there will be because they were out after that. So Springtime Smalls with embellishments. Uh, Bendy Stitchy has just recently been working on this. Bird Study by Kathy Barrick. So cute. So I have a few of those in sight, in sight, in stock. Okay, this new designer alert. This designer has quickly became one of my favorites. She's not new. Um, I went to her her blog, and she's been designing for quite a few years, but she was new to me because I hadn't really branched out of my comfort zone too much on stitching. But I believe you pronounce her name Teresa Cogut or Cogget. I'm not 100% sure, but I got a huge order from her. I ordered directly from her, which you guys know that I like to do, and I know y'all are going to love these. Love some of these. So I'm going to go through them quickly. Santa's hike. Look how fat he is. So cute. This land. Look how cute. She seeks wool. I love that. I love there's a little bird, two little birds sitting on top of the sheep. The bird up here. So cute. Tis the season. Another fat Santa. Primitive Halloween. A wonky kitty on top of a wonky jack-o'-lantern. Love it. A house divided cannot stand. Amen to that. Unless it's college football, then you could probably, well, may, maybe not. I'm not a huge football fan, although I'm a baseball fanatic. My grandfather played for the Baltimore Orioles back when you used to have to take a hiatus from your real job where he worked for CSX Railroad. And you took they took summer a summer hiatus to go play baseball. And he would never believe in a million years that people get paid what they do to play baseball because they had to do it while they were on leave from their regular job. It's crazy. Crow and basket. There's a lot of stitches on that, y'all. Can you see it? Merry Halloween. Because they're so cute. Honey and Wool Farm. I like that. Halloween Greetings. There's that wonky cat again, but the jack o' lantern's a little more regular. Halloween greetings. This is cute. Love a blackbird. I'm blessed to have a whole murder of blackbirds that come see me every day. Curious bunny. At first glance, this picture, I thought that was just outlined, but it's, it's a full coverage bunny. It's stitched on uh, 30 count cocoa by weeks, but see how light that looks? Cocoa's a lot darker than that to me. 
All right, my chicken lovers. Chicken run. I love that. She really captured the, the motion of that chicken in this. I love how like the tulips are blowing one way and that chicken is just getting it coming past there. I love it. Very, very cool. Hens in the garden. Little fat hens. I got some carrots. Y'all have seen this in my personal stash. That's what started this whole thing with her for you because look at that. I mean, he's wearing a scarf and you know how I feel about that. It's adorable. I just love how it's kind of off frame and that's exactly how I would frame this. Exactly. I don't know that I'd stitch the border just because I don't have the patience to do that. But um, you could put him in an awesome frame. Mm, love that. Santa's helper. Look how cute. That's a lot of stitching on there too. You really get your money's worth with these charts. They're not very expensive. They're very well laid out. I think you guys will like them. Yvonne. I got this just for you. Look at that cute little goat. Just a happy goat. Now be witch stitchers. Moon dance. That's a lot, a lot, a lot. Again, on this, if you wanted to make this your own, you could get a cool orange fabric or maybe some fabric flare fabric that already has a moon print, you know, printed on the graphically printed on it, and then you could just stitch the black if you want, if you were so inclined, or you could full coverage stitch that whole baby. Look at him. He's kind of camouflaged in there, and I love that. He's so cute. Okay. Well, we're moving right along. Only 11 minutes in, and I'm halfway through the pile. It took me way longer than this to list all these things online. I can tell you that much. Hold, please. It's water in the cup today, y'all. I'm thirsty. We have the heater on here in Florida. Can you believe it? It's it's chilly today. A little bit of cold front came through. This is a new um, company. I will tell you, with these charts, they're very nice. Very nice charts in a very nice package. This is Autumn. The only thing about these that turned me off a little bit, I'm probably that's probably not a good sales tactic to tell you, is that they take a lot of floss. However, it's DMC. So, you're good there. Um, yeah. So cute, though. Take, it's a lot of colors, but not, not, not a lot of coverage, you know, so that's okay. Tools of the trade. These are by Turquoise. Graphic. Turquoise graphics and design. Rustic Halloween tree. I love this. All the things about it. Again, it's got quite a few colors um, in Anchor and DMC, but there's not a not a lot of coverage, so it wouldn't take you very long. Okay, Bewitch Stitching Alert. I do not have many of these. I know I need to order more. This is Waxing Moon Midnight Manor. Look at that. And you could stitch. It comes with, you know, both. But you could do them separately or maybe just put the Midnight Manor over the top. That's probably what I'll do. Love that. Blackbird Design. Happy birthday. Someone asked me for that, so I got it. Okay. Um, Magical Mystery Tour. So... I'm a Beatles fanatic. I have ordered all of these. The Yellow Submarine is currently out of stock, but will be back, I'm quite certain. Um, I'm hopeful, anyway. So, I have just a few copies of all of the um, Blackbird designs. They're $9 a piece. They're nice, you know, how they do. Nice card. This is not a magazine. It's a card stock chart. This is Eleanor Rigby. Love Eleanor Rigby. Um... I don't have these in any sort of order because I, as I was listing them, I was just tossing them right in there. So you'll see there's Eleanor Rigby, there's an octopus, there's Strawberry Fields Forever, there is Blackbird, there's the Long and Winding Road, and then the Yellow Submarine. So check the site, keep your eyes peeled because I have, have had a few people that wanted the whole set that already bought the whole set except for the Yellow Submarine. So I'm putting them on the list for that. I know, I'm, I'm pretty confident that I can get it in. If not, I mean, I, I purchased the other five for myself, and if I had to, you know, shop the stash or, or shop eBay for that last one, I'm sure I could find it. But I think, I feel pretty confident that we'll be able to get it back in. This is an older Blackbird design. I like it, though. Spring Blessing. Got a big fat bird on it. 
Y'all, I'm sorry these are all out of order, y'all, but I keep things fresh, right? Barbara Anna. Autumn tree. Bird. Two birds in a little box down here. Love that. Barbara Anna, October 31st. All kinds of coolness on this. I love this little bit. You could do that right there just as a fob. It's it's cool. I love this part, I think, the very most. You could do each little motif as a separate little something. Love that. Santa, the dove, and the key. Santa riding a dove. I mean, really? What's not to love about that? And a giant planter on the top of the house. I love how everything in this is, is so totally out of scale. That's what makes these cool. Cinnamon Christmas. So it's Christmassy, but it's in autumn colors, which I like. It's different. la -ti da the Peace House. I ha Google image searched people's versions of this, trying to find a photo, of course, before I decided to order it. I love weather vanes. That's a thing for me. Um, you know, I, I think we talked about in one of the videos with Sarah that she didn't know what a weather vane was. Um, but this is much more vibrant when it's stitched in person. The colors are by Weeks, Caper, Havana, Rust, Onyx, Pelican Gray, and Sage. So a lot vi more vibrant than it shows. Love that. Something Wicked by Turquoise Graphic. This I thought, I just thought y'all would love that. Look at her dress, or her cape, cloak. So cool. Tropical Hat Lady by Carriage House. I thought that this was just fresh and would be, you know, not everybody has the same motif inside their house. And I thought this would be so cool in like a vacation home or just your beachy room or if you just need some inspiration that's bright and popping. But that was cool. Carriage House Tomcat Alley. What's not to love about Tomcat Alley? White pumpkin alert. I know some people are into white pumpkins. Portuguese bird sampler. This is a big old chart. It's on 1998. So the stitch count on this is 275 by 335. That's a big one. And then this is a small chart. Bird in the Hand by Barbara Anna. This one is only 75 by 89. I say this saying all the time, a bird in a hand is worth two in the bush. And again, the, how funny kids are. I, had to exp I have to explain that to Sarah like every single time that I say it. Funky Bird, if you watch Kitten Stitcher's framing tutorial, you will see the Funky Bird. And she shows you how to frame it up. So, I don't have very many of these, but I ordered more because I definitely want to do this one myself as well. So cute. Pantaloons. I know my girls out there are going to absolutely love this. So, corset, no man can storm the bastion of these walls. Drawers below the knee. And pantaloon is mid-calf. Look at the birds. The I guess, is that a cat? Or no, that's a dog pulling the pantaloons off the line. I have to do this. It has to happen. Love it. Scattered seed samplers. One of my very favorite uh, new d designers, new to me, not new designers. This is the keeper of my heart, and y'all look at them wearing their clothes. Look at that. I love this. And I'll... It, it says, um, it is stitched in Gentle Arts, also converted to DMC, and it's stitched on 32 count r and I love this too. This, this will be so much prettier in person. This is Sweet Bird cardstock, not a, a, um, it's cardstock, it's not paper. And it's a full color. I can't flip it around because the whole chart is printed on the back of this. It's not, it's just a single page. But it's full color, super easy to read, all cross stitch except for a little bit of back stitching um, on the tip top and then the letters, of course. And the phrase says, Sweet bird, thy bower is ever green, thy sky is ever clear, thou hast no sorrow in thy song, no winter in thy year. I love that. That's, that's in my to-be-done pile. Okay. Ah, sorry. All right. Cory Batacori, or however you say it, we're not really sure. Um, Halloween in the Rain. Y'all, I love these. They're so whimsical. Look at that. 
It's so cute. A little skull and crossbones hiding over there. I like how it's kind of like all gothic-y and Halloween-y, but then it's so cute too. I love it. Look at the, the detail in the cobweb. It has a heart in it. So awesome. This one, the picture's horrible. I, I always get disappointed when the pictures are awful. It's homespun elegance. And you know what? Their pictures are awful a lot of times. I don't, I guess it's just, they're maybe older charts. Witches teaching stitching. The pictures aren't that. I feel like if you kind of hold them back further, they look better. I don't know. It's cute though. There's a key. There's a bird. There's witches. It's cute. Needle bling designs. Old woman in a shoe. Look at that. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. Week Style Works and General Arts. Got, it has a DMC conversion. And it's 310 by 169 on the stitch count. So that's pretty good size. It's cute. Cottage Garden Halloween Sampler. My Bewitch Stitchers look up for this one. I haven't seen anybody do this yet. This has to happen for me. Gentle Art Sampler Threads. Alternate available DMC conversion on 32 count copper penny linen. Bee Home. The picture's horrible on the website of this. So if you like bees, look up now. And see, the picture's not that great on the cover of this chart either, but the, I could not get a good picture to upload. Could not find a good picture. It's ever so humble. There's no place like home. Heartstring Samplery. Victoria's Garden. This is a big one too. And look how beautiful. I love when they put the original and the redo on there. So cute. Sarah Boothman. Heartstring Samplery. Housework is for the birds. Now this is all stitched, but does have a little bit of felt work on this big bird. You could put them on there, omit them, do whatever you want. Make it your own. I just love birds and I love the saying, housework is for the birds. I need a coffee fairy, my heartstring samplery. That goes without saying. Little Quaker. Heartstring samplery. Okay, these, y'all, I about died when I saw these. I had to get all four of them. So this is the Bird Collections Part 1 through 4. I'll put them in order. Part 1. How cute is that? Has the American Goldfinch, the Black-Headed Grosbeak, and the Morning Doves. Part 2 has, I can't, West the Western Tanager, Red Winged Blackbird and Swainson's Thrush. I have Red Winged Blackbirds living in my seagrass. I think I've told you all that. I must have a happy house for blackbirds. They must know I love them. And then bird collection number three is Western Scrub Jay, Black Cap Chickadee, and American Rose Finch. I have chickadees too. And the fourth part is the Song Sparrow, the Tree Swallow, and the American Robin. I love it. So they're all around um, like 90 by 70, each one of the little pieces for the stitch count, give or take a little bit. So not gigantic. Um, they're stitched on Wren. I love how well these are photographed because I knew that was Wren just by looking at the picture and I love that. So that was the turbo version, 24 minutes of me zipping through these um, charts. I hope it wasn't too fast. Y'all could always pause, go back, watch it again. All the stuff is uploaded already on the website. I'm going to call it a day today. I'm going to take the rest of Sunday to enjoy my family and maybe put a few stitches in of my own. Um, don't forget, I will list a few of the floss packs and a few cuts of fabric. I don't have a lot because, like I said, I'm not really... I don't plan on stocking a ton of floss. Um, I will occasionally, as things come up like this, I'll be more than happy to do a floss pack. I think that's great. It's more difficult for me as as a retailer when they're stitched in DM, you know, when they're stitched in General Arts and Weeks and Classic Color Works because then you have to count on all of those being in stock. And unfortunately, with Kathy Bear, I mean Brenda Gervais, there is two. There are two of the. Um, 
Gentle Arts that are just out of stock. And I know it's because they're the same two colors that are in all of her new stuff. And that stuff went bananas at market and afterwards. So it'll probably take them a little bit to catch up. So, yeah. Let me know. I hope you guys love everything. Have a wonderful week. I will be doing a stitchy update later on this week. Um, regular stitchy update. Not too much of shop news. Because I think this is it on inventory for a little while. Um, of course, on Fridays, new stuff comes out. And I'll see what I can find for us. Um, continue to message me and be in communication with me. I love that. Y'all continue to tag me, please, on Instagram. I love to see when you get your goodies. I love to see your progress on your goodies. And I appreciate y'all's kind words and support and all the wonderful traffic that's been on the website. I love that. Thanks to everybody who subscribed for the website newsletter. I haven't made one yet. I've been floss tubing more than normal. So that's kind of taken a little bit of time up from that. But I plan on doing um, newsletters. So thank you for subscribing to the website. You are not forgotten. Uh, I'm just doing my best to get there. So I'm going to go enjoy the rest of my Sunday. Y'all have a blessed week and I'll see you soon.